Here we go. Ready? Hey, what's up? I got an email from uh, my boy Russ. What up, Russ? Told me all the hazards of uh, breathing in all this dust. And uh, he's right. And uh, I'm going to wear a dust mask for that one whenever I'm milling wood. Because I don't want to get all that crap in my lungs, you know? When I really think about it, you know, he is right. I just get lazy, you know what I mean? I'm just like anybody else. Sometimes I don't think about, you know, uh, all the dust and the hazards of, of doing what I do. You know, so um, do yourself a favor, you know what I mean? If you're doing this, and especially with one of those old little sanders, forget about it, you know. You should wear one of these. Because <clears throat> I notice I do that a lot. <clears throat> so who knows, maybe I get some uh, funky mahogany dust in one of my uh, lungs. I hope not. But anyways, thanks for the tip, Russ. I won't let you down, buddy. I got it on. You guys just can't look at my handsome face anymore. But that's all right. You got to deal with it for a couple minutes. <laughs> all right, so here we go. All right, you can see that I get the piece attached to my primary piece of wood. I'm just going to turn my dust collector on and give you guys a little bit of a uh, demonstration of how to do this. Hopefully, I won't screw it up too bad. But I shouldn't. Have, I shouldn't. Have, you know, it's pretty good. All right, let me go turn on all my stuff. ceiling space that thing is I mean look how big it is it's huge huh I can't even reach the top of it now I mean it really really looks awesome I mean I just totally love that pediment man I mean I'm running out of space in the ceiling and whatnot but you know what so what it's still cool you know I'm gonna have to move it I got to move it move it <laughs> yeah I'm gonna have to move it out of the way 
Otherwise, that sailing fan is going to take it out one of these days. All right, man. Well, that's that. I mean, it's really tall. All right, man. Well, that's that. I'm going to take the pediment down. I'm going to make the top. I mean, uh, the backboard. And then I'm going to start making the roof boards and try to button that bad boy up so I can uh, put the embellishment on the front. You know, now I have to make a piece of dental molding that goes to that angle. So I'll set my bevel to the angle of the um, bedangle, that, that uh, pediment board, and then I'll start cutting. I'm going to have to put the blade on an angle and cut the um, dental molding. But it's going to look sweet. All right, guys, well, that's that. I mean, look how tall it is. I mean, really, honestly. That's retarded. Look. And I got like six foot arms. All right, another point I wanted to mention was the backboard of the pediment. Now you can see that I added that piece to my um, to my pattern. It's three eighths of an inch. It's because I want to put a three eighths rabbit on this piece so the backboards will um, sit on top of this but from the back of it you won't see each individual backboard. So I'm just going to try to make like a three eighths rabbit so they um, sit inside there and from the back you won't notice it at all. Just not a little extra detail I figured I'd give a shot see how it works out. I feel pretty confident it's going to work out, so um, I'm just going to wing it and uh, cut it and see how it looks. Alright, just wanted to show you that you just have to nail a piece onto your pattern, and then I'm going to go up to the table saw and run a dado, you know what I'm saying? Alright, All right. well, after I shaped it on the uh, router table, I cleaned it, you know, I sanded it, I planed it, and I cleaned it front and back. Now, the next thing I needed to do was attach it to the, to the bottom half of the pediment. And this is how I did it. Check it out. Ugh. I don't know if you can see that. Give me a sec. Alright. What I did is that I had a another piece of wood right here. You see it? Now, I just glued it. I screwed it and glued it to the, to the box frame. And I held it up how... Um, just like about an inch, three quarters or an inch. And then you can see on the back is that I attached it with screws. You see there's a screw here, and then there's a screw here, and all along the back, see I have like four screws in it. Pretty sweet, huh? Now I'm I'm on the fence. I don't know if I'll glue it afterwards or what, but I'm just glue I'm just uh, screwing it all together now to see where I hold up. And now, after I've glued it, I mean uh, screwed it to the to the box frame, it's time to start doing the uh, upper boards. Now these are a lot of fun because they really make the piece look so much different, you know. So let me turn it around here. Alrighty, what do you think of that, huh? Those are called shiplap boards. Now this one on the bottom here is still long because I need to add another piece of uh, molding to the bottom here but it makes for really really kick-ass detail you know and it's really important that you have the lap overlapping this way <laughs> so when it rains the water doesn't get inside the box as Lance would like to say so this is just a piece that's rough and it sits inside there and it flops around and blah 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 so now you can see that the box is really starting to take shape. And I'm almost done, guys. It seems like I'm almost done. But the next thing I need to do is that I need to apply a piece of wood right here that's cut on this angle that goes from the front to the back to receive this piece of molding. Now this molding is going to come up to the front and wrap around and go down the, um, down the inside edge here. And it's really going to look awesome. So, that's that. What do you think? Pretty cool, huh? I'm, I'm pleased overall with the aesthetics of it. I think it's going to look really great, especially when it's so high up in the air. I mean, I'm looking at it, and I, I can see that it's not totally round, but I just keep shaping it, shaping it, and it's going to look totally round from, you know, 8, 10, 12 feet away. So, that's the box frame. Box, pediment. And uh, hopefully, by the end of the weekend, I'll have all the molding on it. And then I'll be able to attach it to the upper case. And then uh, it'll be onto the doors.